everybody. I am going to today discuss the difference between Lisan and Arabian and the Al-Lugat al Arabia. And this uh, difference is very important uh, for many people. And then I will discuss this uh, from the perspective of my new discovery about the Arabic language. I have already shown you that I believe that the uh, divine language is called the Nisan Arabian, which is mentioned in the Quran, uh, as opposed to the al al Arabiya. Uh, al lugat al Arabiya is a phrase which is not mentioned in the Quran. And, uh, you know, in light of my uh, new discoveries about the Arabic language, I would like to prove that uh, this Nisan Arabian is the divine language. So, my discoveries has been that every Arabic letter has a meaning. And, uh, for example, okay, let me show you one example. Uh, Tawamun means uh, twins. So, how does it uh, uh, define the word for twin? So, Ta means two, and Wa is Walad, and Alif is one, and Alif means Umun. So, two Walad uh, from one Umu. Huh? So, this uh, defines the word twins. So, see, every letter basically has a meaning, which in turn defines the meaning of the word. And then my second discovery has been that the, these letters actually draw a picture of the meaning of the words. Uh, what I mean, for example, you see this word for uh, to pour, sobba, sobba. So this is uh, from the root letter swad, ba, ba. So you can see very clearly uh, that swad uh, uh, means uh, sodara or something coming out. And ba is looking like container, one ba, and then something coming out and going to another bar like container so pouring is basically uh, transferring uh, a, something from one container to another container okay so you see this is a picture you can see the meaning as a picture and you can also see as an acronym uh, many many times and uh, the different language is extremely intelligent it is very 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 intelligent as you can see here that the word b uh, means uh, it's a single letter word b uh, which is a uh, <clears throat> a special uh, kind of preposition uh, it's uh, called harfujar and this b means with and for example bismillah means with the name of allah now uh, this b means with and the reason uh, the hidden hidden reason is that as you can see the dot is with the kasra can you see it so it is it means with now if you put a fatha say ba not b but ba then the dot is not there in the above the dot in so it would mean without amazing isn't it it's, it's actually amazing if you for example you take a look at this word kabila uh, from the uh, root letters kof ba and lam you can see kabila means uh, he accepted right and uh, yakbalu means he accept he's accepting he's not yet accepted but he's accepting huh? And see, it, when he was accepting, as not yet accepted, the, the, the ba was with the fatra, which means um, is not yet accepted, right? But b would mean with, so after the action is completed in the past tense or in the perfect tense in Arabic, uh, the felul madi, you can see that uh, the b is used uh, rather than the ba uh, in the felul mudaria or when the action is not complete. So it's very, very uh, clear. Uh, the meaning of B and Ba. So this Fatra and Kasra is not uh, without reason. This is definitely, definitely reason why it is Yak Balu in the uh, present tense and Kabila in the past tense. Now, if you apply this logic, you see uh, many, many words will make perfect sense to you. For example, Abadan, which means forever. So you can see Alif means a person, Ba is without end. So forever uh, is uh, defi being defined as a person without any end. So he's living say, forever, right? Abasan means in vain, in vain, Abasan. So here Ain means Amal, Ba means without, and Sa is Samar, without uh, uh, the fruit, right? In vain, in vain means uh, uh, without any result. So see, uh, the internal definition of the word is there. So Amal, Bila, Samar. Bila is used in say modern Standard Arabic. Uh, so Amal Bila Samar, if you say, uh, people will understand that it is uh, Amal, uh, it will work without a result, right? But actually, Bila is not necessary. Ba is enough. So Abasan is enough uh, to 
make the meaning of in vain. So it's it's a it's a difficult to believe, I agree, that this uh, discovery is very hard to believe. How can it be that uh, every letter, every word has this uh, picture in it, and how is possible? But I have seen this. I have shown you that this is possible, and I, I in my last video I discussed the meaning of the letter Toa, where I have, where I have told you that uh, if the Toa is the first letter, as as you can see, Torah means to fly, uh, so to go up, and if Toa is the last letter, it means to come down. So, you, as you can see in Sakata, which means uh, seen is uh, Sara or move, and Kof is due to gravity, and Toa is come down. So, something is falling, uh, you can clearly see, you should be able to see the object. The object shape is in, with the Kof, right? Kof, which is uh, falling. So, you should be able to see the meaning here. And Tora, same, uh, go up. You know, see Alif, you, you can see the Alif is also put in an upward direction, meaning going up. And Ra is using the barred wings. So you see, Tora, this uh, this two letter is uh, related to flying. Now, to understand this difference between Al Lugat Al Arabiya and this Al Arabian, you can look at this sentence: Al Batriku Toirun Walaisa Toirun. This sentence. Uh, uh, is a little bit difficult to understand because it uses the word toirun and toirun, both of which is translated as bard in the modern standard Arabic. But I maintain that this is not the case, that in the Lisanun Arabian, that every word has a different meaning. So toirun and toirun is not the same uh, meaning. So toirun is is a masdar is used as a masdar which means a bard but toirun uh, means uh, it's a it's a file so this means uh, somebody who is able to fly but you remember see, see not all birds are able to fly for example in this case the uh, penguin is not able to fly so penguin would be a toirun but not a toirun a, a flyer it cannot fly huh? so there are there are many birds such as say, starting from uh, chicken or say uh, 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 some of the birds which are unable to fly, right? Such as ostrich and others. Huh? So you can see this batrik. I have told you that uh, in Arabic, uh, it's a it's a difficult to imagine that why Arabic has this word, but it has uh, because this uh, this animal is found in the South Pole, and, but still Arabic has a word for this. And see, batrik means we, we know ba means without, and toram is related to flying, so without flying. And here, ya means something which is down, and kof is kudzbun or the pole. So it is the the ya kof together is indicating the south pole. So so this is defining the penguin as a bird which is unable to fly, bathor, and uh, which uh, is found in the pole, which is more than enough to define uh, the animal uh, uniquely defined, basically, right? The animal uh, known as penguin. And you can see here the Ra and the Ya is not connected, so so two uh, space uh, spaces there and two separate uh, parts are created in this uh, word, which indicates two different uh, aspects of this animal, right? So, the, but because there are many birds which are unable to fly, say ostrich or chicken or something like that, right? But it's only the penguin which lives in the South Pole, which is uh, unable to fly. So see. Uh, very very interesting and and this is what i believe uh, distinguishes the uh, uh lisan and arabian because it's the language of our creator it's not a man-made language uh, at least that is what my theory is please look at my all the other videos uh, to understand more uh, on this subject how uh, this is the case okay now let me show you another difference between al al arabian and lisan arabian by explaining this word kangaroo. Now kangaroo, kangaroo, as you understand, this is a, a, an animal found in Australia, right? And uh, this word definitely is not uh, an Arabic word in the sense that uh, the modern standard Arabic, right? Its origin uh, is from Australian Aborigines or, or some uh, obscure origin, right? Nobody actually knows from where the word kangaroo came. But I maintain my theory is that uh, this word kangaroo is actually a uh, word in the Lisanun Arabian or the which I call the original 
Arabic language which was taught to Adam al -Salam at first and then this language was basically forgotten and part of it is revived. A very small part is now uh, preserved as the uh, Logatul Arabia. Okay, so if you look at this word uh, kangaroo, you can see kaf means to possess, to possess. Huh? This is one meaning of the letter kaf. This is well known in uh, modern standard Arabic as well that uh, kaf means uh, to possess. For example, kitabuka uh, means your book, right? So it's a uh, letter for possession. And noon is female, nisaun, nisaun. And so kangaroo, rain is the ein like pouch. Of through which the rasul walad or the head of the baby can be seen you can see the calf and then you also notice the calf like uh, leg so uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put his mark on these animals um, unique unique animals and then define the animal in such a way that it becomes readily understandable just from the letters huh? uh, another so so my theory is that uh, this uh, what kangaroo is from the root Kangara, which uh, means uh, to move by jumping, as the kangaroo does. So, so we can see that th this is my theory, by the way, uh, that uh, you can uh, understand many, many names uh, of the from these animals, uh, which uh, you can then understand uh, the divine language. Huh? For for understanding divine language, we can use this this apparently foreign words, which are not foreign actually. These are all part of the all right. Now, if we analyze this word Arabian, you see Ain. Ain has a meaning of Ana or to mean something, and Ra is Ra'a to see something, and Bata means uh, to to get, uh, to receive as an like a, as an output, and Ya is something hidden, right? So Arabian would mean uh, where the meaning can be seen as an output, the hidden meaning can be seen as an output. In contrast to al -Luga, so in the Luga, the Lugatun, this word Lugatun, I mean the language, uh, is from the root, root uh, Lam, Rain, and Wa. And you can see, we already know Wa uh, has a meaning of something missing. And you can see in the Luga, the Wa is completely missing. And uh, there is no lead letter in here. So Lugatun means uh, uh, a language. But see, Lisan. Uh, not see. So ayn means to see something and we know single dot means uh, negative. So it means not see, huh? not mean uh, and the meaning is missing. So it is the language, lisan, where the bound, the tama, the, the bound meaning cannot be seen, cannot be seen. So all lugas are like this. Their letters do not make any sense, right? So only in the lisan in Arabian, uh, this uh, meanings uh, can be seen. So it's very important that you have to be able to see the meaning. If you, if we analyze these uh, root letters, uh, Lam, Rain, Wa, the, all the words that are derived from root letters, say Laga, Elgu, Lugun, Lagun, and Lagin, and, and Malgun, which is the six different forms of the letters, as, as I have already been taught, teaching you on this, the six uh, different forms of the root letters that you should learn. So basically, it, it means to talk nonsense, right? To talk nonsense. And then Lagun means nonsense, which doesn't make sense. So see, it doesn't make sense because the bound meaning is gone. And interestingly, very interestingly, uh, the Ilgaun, the abolishment, uh, the word uh, ilgaun means abolition, to abolish something. And how this relates, you see, the, the Lisanun Arabian, the divine language, as I have told you, has all knowledge built in inside this language. And I'm going to uh, show you from these root letters how uh, these uh, nonsense languages uh, or the basically the writing systems will be abolished uh, soon. Okay. Uh, this is a map which shows the region where Arabic. Uh, the modern standard Arabic or its, its variant means in, in various dialects uh, is spoken. Uh, obviously, the darker green shows the where it is spoken heavily and uh, in other places spoken like lightly or in a uh, different uh, fashion. So many, many countries, what they did because uh, many of their native languages had sounds which Arabic doesn't have, uh, such as the P sound for say Pakistan or say, uh, you know, sounds like this. The Chaw sound uh, in in Bangla and other languages, uh, 
uh, this kind of sounds what uh, they did is they tried to write letters using uh, Arabic alphabets but uh, modifying them changing them uh, distorting them in a way so for example putting three dots uh, with the jinn or say ein or fa uh, or or putting a dot on on fa on kaf or wow like this or noon with three dots uh, this this is used in jawi so in malaysia Brunei, or indonesia uh, there, there is still it, it is still in practice it is still practice books and books are published with this language so basically the uh, local language uh, is written in uh, using the Arabic alphabets, but uh, for the different pronunciation, they use uh, different dots or other systems to indicate uh, the differences. Huh? And this is done say, in, in Jawi, Farsi, Urdu, uh, Alif Bey, which was in, used in Ottoman Turkey, or Uyghur uh, in, in China. Uh, this was used. Huh? In my view, all this is a mistake. All this is a mistake. And then uh, this. Uh, uh, systems you see many of the systems have already become obsolete for example Elif Bay is completely obsolete uh, and uh, I believe all this uh, should be actually abolished so you see this matches with the meaning of the abolishment uh, of the writing system the Ilgaon meaning of the Luga huh? so all Lugas basically of the world uh, are without any sense in the sense that it is not attached to uh, the meaning which can be seen readily right and uh, inshallah they will be abolished and we will have a one single writing system uh, for all these uh, uh, languages so remember the reason for the divine language drawing a picture of objects is that all objects or concepts are created according to the shape of the divine letters well that is my theory and uh, please uh, take a look at my other videos and if you like these videos Please subscribe, leave a like, and make a comment and share. And uh, I have two books in uh, Google Books. Please uh, take a look at them. And uh, if you like them, uh, please support my channel and my books. Uh, thank you very much. Allah Hafiz.